State investigators are looking into the death of a female inmate at the Erie County Holding Center. Tonight, friends and family of India Cummings want answers. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins live outside the Holding Center right now. Jill, what can you tell us? Yeah, good evening, Jeff. Those friends and family and even India Cummings' own mother gathered outside of the Erie County Holding Center for a protest earlier this afternoon. The very place, they say, is to blame for the 27-year-old's death. Now, Cummings was first arrested on February 1st by officers in Lackawanna who say she was allegedly stealing a car and then crashed it following a chase. Cummings' mother says on February 17th she was admitted to Buffalo General Hospital brain dead in cardiac arrest and suffering from other medical problems. State investigators tell me deputies transported Cummings from the holding center to the hospital that day where at some point she was then, quote, released from the sheriff's custody. Cummings, though, did not pass away until the 21st. Why and when exactly she was released from custody? Well, that remains unknown because the Erie County Sheriff's Office says they will not comment on the case due to pending litigation. And I want answers, and I'm not going to stop until I receive those answers. I have people reaching out to me, telling me a lot of dark stories that have taken place inside the Holden Center. And I believe that my daughter went through one of those incidents that caused a really dark cloud over her life, her last days. An exact cause of death is still pending. I did reach out to Lackawanna police officers earlier this afternoon trying to get more answers about the circumstances surrounding her initial arrest. We have not heard back at this point. When we do, we'll of course, bring that along to you. In the meantime, though, the State Commissions of Corrections is investigating this. They say, though it was an out of custody death, they're still able to investigate. We'll continue to stay on top of this story and bring you the answers just as soon as we get them. For now, reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Jill Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.